hey guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful beautiful day how you guys and girls are doing hope you're doing great as always please check out the description box all the nice links also drop a like subscribe if you like the content so there you go there you go now we got to keep working on this beautiful gui thing uh like we have in the past few videos and we added a few things now we do have this i'm gonna i'm gonna spend some time later and just uh, group everything together that is kind of menu and gui driven and put it under some kind of comments and stuff um but if we just just look at this right now as it is uh, if we open that up as well texture selector so we're in, no it's in gui okay so what do we have we have the get active thing that's great we have the mouse positionings and stuff. Haven't fixed these yet, so they cast properly. We will eventually, once we get everything to work. Um, and they move around properly. So what do we want to do? Now, I don't want to draw the inner selector if this active. Okay, that's the only time I want to draw it. Now, whenever the mouse is within this these limits, it will return true for the active. Where is it? uh the active thingy this active thing right here i think that's the way it works right yeah active true false okay so if it is active we'll do all that stuff so we'll render it out if it's not we won't uh let me just think here so what we want to do outside is just group everything together in the update gui so we're updating this what is it we don't want to update when um uh, so let's put this up at the top as well. There we go. What is it we don't want to update? So probably this stuff. If this texture selector get active, if we're within the texture selector, probably we don't want the outer selector to be active. We don't want that to happen if it's not active. There we go. So we'll do all this stuff. The cursor text is fine. We'll keep that. Pause menu, all good. Uh, this is the actual update. Everything here is fine, doesn't really matter. The render, okay, so texture selector, we're rendering it. The cursor text, the selector rectangle. Probably don't want that to render as well. If this texture, texture selector get active. That's when we render the selector rectangle, the outside one. Otherwise, we'll render the texture selector and then the cursor text. So that's perfect. That's what we want. We don't have to do anything in here because we're all just doing all that stuff within the function itself. So you go, I'm sorry about my throat. It's a little sore. So if I if I sound weird, that's uh, it's because of that. But I'll try to speak up. Um, and this stuff we have to change obviously this this doesn't really work well we do we, you know what we could just remove that completely the change texture thing um, what we do need is the mouse left so here we need to check some stuff if this texture selector get active so if we're inside it we're gonna do something uh, else we're gonna do something else okay um, so if it is active, all right, and then also we want to just copy this if statement and want to do this tile thingy, we want to say not active, then we're going to do this. Let's keep it the same way. If it's not active, we're going to do this. If it is active, uh, we're going to do something else. So mm, what I want to do is I want to set the texture rectangle to whatever it is within this beautiful thing. Now, uh, to do that, we need to return the texture rectangle. So let's go into GUI and let's try to return this texture rect by an, uh, using the accessor. So I'm probably going to do a const sf int rect reference. I would say get texture rect. I'm going to do const on that because we just want to uh, kind of copy the data over pretty much, I think. No, what am I doing? Okay, right there. Okay, oh, this is good. This is good. I'm going to put it below this 
active thing. Um, there you go. Okay, return this uh, texture rect. So once we do that, we can get it out here. So I'm just gonna say this texture rect equals this texture selector get texture rectangle. Okay, so we'll get the texture rect and put that data into this one. So that is, uh, that's great, that's great. But how are we even changing the texture rectangle here? So we're updating it. We are, if it is active, we're moving the selector's position. Okay, so we need to update the texture rect. Update texture rectangle after we move the selector. So once the selector moves, the, the the texture rectangle will move always. So this texture rect dot x equals something. Also, we need to set the texture rect width and height. Probably I'm going to do that. Let's just see. Oh, it's right here. Right here. Uh, where is the texture? It's at the bottom. So I'm going to pretty much do it at the bottom here. This texture rect dot width equals grid size. All right. This texture rect dot height equals grid size. All right. And these are integers. So I'm going to do a static cast int on those. Just make it nice and clean. Make sure we cast stuff. There we go. Uh, so the width and height will always be the grid size for this texture selector. Obviously, we can change the grid size for these texture selectors if you're, um, um, what do you call it? If they are different, if you want a different grid size. So pretty much that's how it's going to work. Uh, we're not that advanced. We don't support different, you know, types of of uh, grid sizes and stuff in the same application so whatever but if you want to do that you want to work more on that you can do it it is possible but it's a lot more complicated um, anyway so the texture x is going to be this uh, selector dot get position dot x pretty much pretty much uh, texture rect dot left equals okay it's so left and then top so top is gonna be y um, I don't like this that much top because we're using floats and shit but it should be okay if we just static cast them cast to int like that Pretty much, pretty much. So, but that won't do because the it's it's remember the offset. Remember this bounds get position shit. So we need to do the selector's position minus this bounds dot get position dot x. Okay, so we got to minus that position. And that will give us, this is the beautiful um, top and left stuff. So let's just see. Let's just see. We could use the mouse position grid as well. Multiply it with grid size, actually. You know what you could do? We could do that. Uh, I think. I'm not sure. Let's just see if this works. I think I'll use the other way. Let's just run this program. Let's see if it works. Am I even recording? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. No crashes. Seems fine. We're good. So as long as this works. Okay, so. Yeah, 0, 0, 100, 100, 100, 0, 100. And I'm rendering. I'm drawing the stuff that is the thing I'm clicking on. So that's working. So I made some kind of a beautiful, beautiful thing here. Now I could remove these, add that there, 
add some more grass here remove that add a thing here we don't have any overriding right now so you don't if you click on something it won't overwrite but you see how i'm not rendering this box when i'm not active within this texture selector so that's the same thing now we need a way to hide the texture selector uh and we need a little button or something which we can press and pressing that button is just gonna yeah just minimize it and, and all that stuff also we need a way to maybe move it if we want and make it bigger and then if we have something a texture that goes way out like this we need a way to move through all those textures and uh, and yeah see how that works but uh but yeah that is 300 400 400. you shouldn't be able to do that uh, because that's not a texture technically let's see 400 400 okay i guess you know what i don't know how that works i don't know what you why you're watching my videos because I have no clue what just happened there. But I'll look into it. Why that works. Even with such a large texture rectangle. But it doesn't matter. You know what? There you go. It works. Everything's fine. And yeah. That's it for this video. So next one we'll try to hide it. And we'll try to build a little map. And then work on saving and loading these maps. Um, and hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully that should be that should be good. So thank you so much for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. Sorry if I'm a little slow. I'm a little sick, but but yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's it. I'll probably be better until the next video. But there you go. Thank you so much. Take care. Keep working hard, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.